Come on, takes me back over here to the east side of the valley to get an update at the intersection of Charleston Boulevard and Lamb. This project out here started February of last year. It was only supposed to take six months, but here it is nearly a year later, and these pesky cones are still out here. I think it will mean less frustration after the project is completed. I know that projects can sometimes affect our ability uh, to get to and from our usual uh, traffic patterns or our day-to-day -day routines. That was Las Vegas City Councilwoman Olivia Diaz from March of last year talking about the very beginning of the project that broke ground in late February of 2020. Now, when we first chatted with the Councilwoman, she believed the project would be worth all the headaches. But I'm looking forward to the outcome of this um, project because it is going to widen the streets here on this inter intersection that's been problematic for quite some time. I heard from my public works department that it's been years in the making. The intersection has been problematic mostly for pedestrians, which is why the city of Las Vegas focused their efforts on widening the sidewalks at Charleston and Lamb rather than widening the street. Look at the sidewalk from February of last year. The sidewalk was very narrow with little room between the pedestrians and the traffic. But now look at the sidewalk today. It's much wider, giving pedestrians the extra space needed to stay safe. But why is this project taking so long? According to a city statement, they told the Cone Zone, quote, there have been multiple delays on the project due to numerous and necessary utility relocations that were not anticipated. It does take um, some coordination amongst all municipalities and especially the state entity NDOT, right? Because this corridor is um, NDOT run and operated and governed. And so we all have to work together to make this wonderful work happen. There is light at the end of the Cone Zone Tunnel for the intersection of Charleston and Lamb as much of the work has been completed with final paving work scheduled to take place sometime in April, turning what was supposed to be a six-month improvement project into a 14-month project. I'm Ken Smith, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.